Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, was directed by Ryan Coogler and it stars Letitia Wright as Shuri. This movie takes place after the events of Avengers Endgame and this is the sequel to, to the first Black Panther movie. So in this movie, do... So in this movie, all the Wakandans in Wakanda was going through a tragic loss of their king, um, King T'Challa, played by the late Chadwick Boseman. Until Wakanda is up to no good until Namor and his goons come in to wreak havoc on Wakanda and the Wakandans. And now it's up to um, whoever is the new Black Panther to take Namor out. And now we got our movie. So technically, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is one of my most anticipated films of the year. And um, from what I heard, this movie was, from what I heard, this movie was very, very dark, serious. It takes itself seriously. Um, and that's it for all of that, mostly. Um, the reason why this movie was actually sad because of the loss of Chadwick Boseman. Now, Chadwick Boseman was a brilliant actor. Um, um, he's the one who, um, he, was a, he was a brilliant actor. I liked him in some movies. I mean, I only watched him in, like, a couple of movies that I watched him and experienced him in. Um, but he also played T'Challa in Captain America Civil War. And then when, when Black Panther came out for the for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, he's the one who gives us, the, when he played T'Challa, he, he gave us a tour of what Wakanda looks like and introduced us to the Wakandans for the first time. So I really miss Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace. So, um, this movie was going through a lot on its plate because, um, because, uh, uh, Letitia Wright was going through some injuries, um, the director was going through a lot, and they had to shut down post-production, and I think this movie was, like, going through some, like, like, some delays or something, and then, and then, after all that, this movie went back on. So, to my opinion, what do I think of Black Panther Wakanda Forever? This movie was awesome. But there's some there's some pros and there's some cons I liked and don't like. But um, Black Panther: Wakanda Forever is MCU's best movie of all time. So I guess that's it for all of that. So let's talk about the actors and the characters themselves. First off, let's start with Letitia Wright as Shuri. Now Letitia Wright as Shuri is really good in this movie. She was going through a tragic loss of her brother, King T'Challa, played by played by um, the late Chadwick Boseman. Um, until she meets up with Namor and found out that Namor is giving Wakanda, um, um, bad, something bad or something. Um, when she found out that, um, he's up to no good, um, stuff is, I mean, when he, when she found out that stuff is, is going up to no good for, um, from Namor, um, stuff is about, something bad is about to happen to Wakanda. And... And I think, and then, um, and that, and also she meets up with, um, Riri Williams and recruits her, um, rec and recruits, um, Riri Williams to help, to help the Wakandans to, to fight off Namor and his goons. And look, and, um, Letitia Wright is really good at Shuri. The way her performance just handled, it was handled perfectly. The way I see it, it just, it just triggers me. Like, Letitia Wright is really good as as Shuri. She did an excellent job in this movie, and I hope we'll see more of her in the MCU. And I think that's it for uh, Le Le Letitia Wright as Shuri. And 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 next up, and next up is Lupita Nyong'o as Nikea. Now Nikea, y'all may know who's the love interest from the first Black Panther movie of T'Challa. Um, and now um, he she was going through a tragic loss of of of, of T'Challa. And, um, and the only thing I can say is her suit, her underwater suit is badass. The way it was, um, painted green and blue. She has these, um, the, um, these, um, these ring things that, that she hold on to from the first movie, which were, like, has this gunmetal silver. And now with, uh, now the ones that she has is painted green, mostly. So, and Lapita Nyong'o is really good as Nikea. Um, the only thing I can say is, She's excellent in this movie. And that's it for um, Lupita Nyong'o as as Nikea. And next up is Angela Bassett as Queen Ramona. Now the, the, now, the talk about this, she's fantastic in this movie. She was going through a tragic loss of... Um, she was going through a tragic loss of her son, T'Challa, who was the king of... Who was the king and the protector of Wakanda. And... And now she was going through a tragic loss as well. The only, and the only thing she has is her daughter, Shuri. And, 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 and the people that she loves in Wakanda. And Angela Bassett is fantastic in this role. The way that her performance 
was like, it felt huge. Like, it wasn't shoehorned. It felt like she was getting into it. And she was having a good time with, with her role. It was just, she was taking her performance very, very seriously, including everyone else in this movie. And she needs to get an Oscar. She needs to get an Oscar for best for best acting performance, I guess. So, I guess that's it for Angela Bassett as as Queen Ramona. And next up is um Denai um Denaya Guerrera as um as a Sorry for getting your name I, I sorry for getting your name wrong. I thought her name was Danny, but no, I relooked at her name and her name was Denaya. Um um Denaya Guerrera. Sorry. But Denaya Guerrera is really good as a Koye. And Okoye is awesome. She's a badass as well. And the, I liked her fighting skills. She was going through a tragic loss of of King T'Challa. Um, and, and also her fighting skills, the way it was handled is awesome. Like from the first movie and now in this movie. Um, Denaya Guerrero has done an excellent job in in this movie. I think it would have been really cool if she gets her own um, Black Panther spinoff. Maybe in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It depends on Marvel Studios and Kevin Foggy wants to give her her own spinoff show or movie or whatever. But I guess that's it for Denai Guerrero as um as a Koye. Um, who else? And, and next up is Martin Freeman. Next up is Martin Freeman as Everett Ross. The only thing I can say for him, he's just kind of there. I thought he was going to help the Wakandans out, but no, he didn't. He was just in the outside world throughout the movie. And I'm like, wait, I thought you were going to help the Wakandas out like you, like you did in the first movie. No. He's just kind of there in the movie. Just to, He's just kind of there or something. That's all I'm going to say for him. He's just there for, like, like, like the CIA stuff, crime scenes, and that's it. Um, but Martin Freeman is really good as Everett Ross. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, I thought he was pretty good in this movie. But there were some scenes in the movie I'm just like, I thought you were going to help out. What's going on? I mean, he is in the movie a lot, but then sometimes he's not in the movie too much. And that's it for uh, Martin Freeman as Everett Ross. And I and 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 next up, who else? Um, and and next up is uh, the newer character that were introduced in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Dominic Thorne as Ruby Williams, aka Ironheart. Now Ironheart. Now this is our first time being introduced to Ironheart in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that is this movie. So, technically, from what I was talking about in my um, Ironheart Marvel Legends review, that she's getting her own TV show. Um, now, the thing is, Ruby Williams in this movie um, is... Now, Ruby Williams in this movie, she creates her own... After she creates her own um, her own Ironheart suit, um, she helps to, um, um, the Wakandans go against Namor. And that's all I'm going to say for her. Dominic Thorne has done an excellent job as, as Ruby Williams, a.k.a. Ironheart. And I can't wait to watch her... I can't wait to watch... Her her MCU show on Disney Plus. I think I think it comes out like I believe fall of next year. We'll just have to wait and see. And I think that's it for Dominic Thorne as the actual character of Ruby Williams. And next up, and next up is Tanacha Weta as yeah. Next up is Tanacha Weta as um as uh, Namor. Now Namor feels like a, now the thing is about Namor about the about Namor is um this character does not joke. We do get his backstory, but I heard the backstory was actually changed from the comics. Um, they, I think they were going to put the uh, the uh, the comic book origin of this character in the movie, but I guess they had to change that up a bit. But it, it wasn't, it wasn't. I mean, but I was like, wait, huh? I mean, I didn't. I'm mean, now it's my it was my first time being um, my first time experiencing this origin story, which was kind of cool though. Um, and he explained it, and he. And the thing is, Tanacha Weta is really good as Namor. He feels like an actual bad guy. He feels like an actual villain. Does he feel like a villain? Yeah, he didn't play around. And I think Tanacha Weta um, is also he's also um, the uh, protector of this underworld of this under of, the, of this underwater world called um, um, Tala. Talakan. I thought they were going to call it Atlantis, but instead they call it Talakan, which is a world underneath the ocean. And Tanacha Weta is really good as Namor, and that's it for him. And last but not least is Winston Duke as um as Mbaku. Now Mbaku, there were some really cool moments that he was in. I and this is the same Mbaku. Um, there were some old quotes in the movie that was from the first movie. 
Um, there was some more quotes that he had from the first movie and put in this film, which was really cool. Um, he was also getting into the action as well. And um, I thought he, and there was some funny moments that he was get, that he was having a good time. Um, the thing is, Winston Duke is fantastic as M'Baku, and that's it for him. That's it for the actors and the characters themselves. And to talk about the action sequences, there's some lot of cool action sequences in this movie, but they weren't in the movie too much. I think there were like probably at least three or four or five. I think to me, to, I think to me, there were like three or four, probably like three or four action sequences in this movie. Um, but the but the final battle, the final battle is awesome. But there was some there was some stuff in the final battle where I was like, okay, we're going back and forth to this scene, going back and forth to this scene and that scene, and I'm like, okay, pick one. Or just pick the one to the other. I don't know. But the final battle, there was some stuff that was really good. There was some stuff I was like, okay, what's happening? But the final battle is awesome. That's all I'm going to say for the action. But to talk about the rest of the culture stuff, it wasn't just about... Uh, I mean, we did get a little bit of the Wakandan culture, a little bit. But the only culture that we get was from Talakan, which was... That we get to see some underworld, some underwater uh, world um, city, which was called Talakan. That's where Namor came from, and he was he needs the protector of his people. Now everything in this movie, um, the move, my problems with the movie, there was some stuff that felt missing, and the problems I had with it, it was two hours and forty one minutes long, which I didn't have any issues with. Um, yeah, because every Marvel movie is two hours, and I think some of the other Marvel movies is one hour, but most of these are mostly two hours. This, I think with Black Panther, the first movie was like two hours and 20-something minutes or 30-something minutes. I can't remember. This movie is two hours and 21 minutes long, which means it's three hours long. Um, there were some scenes in the movie where it, there were some scenes in the film that there was some stuff in the scenes that was missing. That was in the trailer. There was some stuff that was missing. They probably had to put out of the movie or they probably had to go through um, some reshoots and stuff. I mean, I didn't have any issues with the reshoot scenes, but I'm just like, wait, huh? I don't get it. But what's really cool about the trailer is they actually teased everything from the teaser trailer, the second trailer as well. Now, every now, now the thing is about um, this movie, because, uh, you know, due to the loss, um, this movie is not just... The movie, what I really like about this film is mostly Shuri. This is Shuri's story. Of how she was going through a tragic loss of her brother, and not just because of her. it's not just her, it's also the Wakanda. Every, everyone in Wakanda was going through a tragic loss of their king, and the way they handled the whole, the way they handled the uh, the the, uh, the way they handled uh, the death scene was uh, wasn't shoehorned. It was very real. Yeah, um, due to the due, the way they handled it, it was very real. It wasn't shoehorned. It wasn't made up. The way they handled it was very real from what happened to Chadwick Boseman um, two years ago. It was actually in the movie. The way they handled it was, 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 um, was, wasn't really um, soft. It was heavy. It was actually very heavy. It was um, heavy um, lifted and it was emotional. It was sad. Every, there were some scenes in the movie that I teared up a bit. But um, the rest of the other movie, the, there were some scenes um, in the movie that I kind of teared up a little bit. But I mean, but Wakanda, and and also this was also a war out movie. To me, this was a war out movie between Wakanda and Atlantis, or Talakan, I should say. It's mostly like Wakanda and Talakan was going through an all out war, and I love that about this movie. And the rest of the other, the rest of the, and the rest of this movie, I guess that's it. And I guess that's it for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I don't know if we're going to get a Black Panther 3 in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is which is a must, and I hope so. So, we'll just have to wait and see if we get a Black Panther 3 or not. Um, I guess that's it for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and the rest, and the rest, there's nothing much to say. I guess that's it for the rest of this movie. So, be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see you in my next video, and thank you for watching.